heart a heart condition which is heart failure um diabetes high blood pressure and a brain aneurysm and i have a tumor on my kidney in which i have to remove at the kph hospital welcome back to shenzhen zen jamaican vibes we're here with petra and her mom marcia and even though their face are looking pleasant today we have sad news sad news but i'm going to let petra tell you guys what's going on okay um my grandma that was on the video the first and second video she passed off saturday um she the doctor said that she suffered from multiple strokes mm -hmm. she was in the hospital for about two weeks before she died so it's a sad time right now so you guys just keep us in your prayers oh my i'm sorry to hear and my sympathies with the family um when i came here and met her she was really quiet she didn't talk much but she was very pleasant yes. and and very grateful i remember when i gave her i don't remember what it was that i gave her but she was very very grateful and even just for the help that she knew that Petra was getting by being on my program she said thank you and she said God bless you and I will never forget that so um, I hope her soul will rest in peace um, Petra I have some insulin syringes for you from Miss Karen Miss Karen from New Jersey yes it's a lot of me, but thank you Miss Karen yes I really appreciate it Yes. Um. So how are you holding up, Miss Marcia? Well, I'm, I, um, I'm just waiting on some paperworks to go ahead and look about the funeral because what really happened? They don't release the, the death certificate as yet. But as soon as I get the death certificate, they say that I have to move with this um with with the H paper. Oh, to the, to the place, but um, get the H papers yet. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because she didn't have any. Oh, so you have to be looking about her yes, bird yes. certificate. Yes, a bird certificate before I can do anything. I didn't right. follow me the paperwork to be done. Right. But I set the funeral for in January because oh. they they sent up it for look for it because they didn't see it on the computer, so it, it's gone to town. Okay. To far. To search so, for the yeah, so birth as certificate. As back, they said I have to pay if I want it back urgently. Yeah. For for to do the business, they said we have to pay to get it back. Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, and Petra has been going to the Kingston yes. Hospital, and what have they been saying, Petra? Um, well, I've been going for the last few months for the appointment at the endocrine clinic that's just for the kidney mm -hmm. um, and the last time we went there they gave us an appointment to make but they didn't explain to us that we should have gone to the surgical clinic to make that appointment mm -hmm. so when we went there for the appointment date they told us that um, it was for the surgical clinic we should have made the appointment so no. we end up have to go back on a Friday to make the appointment because the Thursday when we went here they don't make that appointment on a Thursday. Oh. They only made the appointment on a Monday, Tuesday and Friday. So we end up had to get some money together and go there on the Friday. Right. So that appointment now that we made for the surgical clinic, we get that appointment for the 18th of this month. Oh, okay. And we also have to go back there for the endocrine clinic, which is the 14 and the 24. So you have to be traveling from Westmoreland to Kingston, back and forth, yes, and we know that is costly. Yes, ma'am. Um, it is really costly to travel back and forth from Westmoreland to Kingston, so I'm just asking for some help, no matter how small. Um, just to pay the fare to go and come from Kingston. Yeah. Um, to Westmoreland. To Westmoreland. Yes. So anything will be greatly appreciated. And I have three appointments for this month. Yeah. To go to Kingston. 
You said the 14, the 14, the 18, and the 24. That's a whole heap of traveling. That's why the endocrine clinic and the surgical clinic. Because yes. I'm supposed to see the surgical doctor for them to tell me more. I thought I would have seen the surgical doctor already. Yeah. Each time I go up there, you know, it's just the endocrine clinic I'm seeing. And I, what I get to understand is that most of the people that um, when I'm waiting and sit and talk to people that's in the clinic and they tell me that sometimes I am lucky because sometimes uh, four months till people get um, an appointment to come to the surgical clinic. Oh, okay. So they said I get an early date. That means it me, must be important. Yes, but to mm -hmm. me it's not an early date. It's long for me because I really want to get over this. Yes. Yes. I give God thanks anyway. Right, and we want the, the tumor to be removed from your kidney. So yes, the sooner indeed. the better. Sooner the better. And traveling to Kingston, you have to take a bus. You don't charter any vehicle. No, miss. You take a bus. So how do you take the bus? Um, we walk from here, go to the bus park. But sometimes the bus pick us up. If we left like from 2 o'clock in the morning, the bus pick us up at the stoplight. Right. And then it brings us to Kingston and then we take one from the bus park in Kingston goes to the hospital. Right. And so you have to take um two buses. Two buses. Yes. Two and buses two go and two come, come back. Yes, right. Yes. Okay, so I know and it's always me and my mom that has to travel. I can't really travel, travel alone, alone, right. So that's why it's so costly. Yes. And if you were to charter somebody, it would be it even would more. Be even double the fear. So. Right. So it's better to take the bus. Yes, yes. Okay. So you heard her. If there is anybody out there who can assist her, she said, no matter how small, she'll appreciate it. Cause traveling back and forth to Kingston is really rough now, yes. and and um, they're really going through a hard time right now. Um, she just lost her father a couple months ago. Three months ago. Right, and now she lost. She lost her grandmother. Four days now. Four days no now. She lost her grandma. So they're really going through a rough patch, and 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 mommy herself is not so well. But she don't want to elaborate too much about that because she really want Petra to get the help that she need. So um, Petra information will be in the description of the video and pin on the comment section. As well as you can reach out to me and I will forward her number to you. If you WhatsApp me, I can send you her number. So you can help her. Alright, so we have something here for you, Petra. Open this to me, mommy. So I have some um, oil here. I shared it up, so I left some for you and your mom. Yes, and yes. we have some items here. Hold it, hold it for me, mommy. Alright, we have some items here. Um... The items in the bottom, hold on, let me show the different items. You can put it down, Mommy. Sorry. Right. All right, so we have items from different, different people. So these are from Miss Beverly and Francilla, shampoo and conditioner, um, sanitary napkin. Okay. All right, I know we have, oh, I, I bring some color loo for you. Especially for you, Petra. Because I know that you have the diabetes, the high blood pressure, and all of the other illnesses. And we have... Alright, these now are from from Miss Karen. Yes. Uh, Miss Karen is from New York. So she sent those especially for you. Rice is down in the bottom. She sent a lot of beans. And peas and you know healthy stuff, corn grits, yes. tuna. Yes. So um, thank you so much, Miss Karen, and everybody else who have donated to the program. Petra, um, I noticed that you put on some more weight, and you you're looking lovely, beautiful as ever. <laughs> yes. You, yes, man. I'm glad to see you looking this way now. Yes, Miss. Well, doing. Um, from the first video, I have gained about 30 pounds because when the first video was here, that was about 120. Yeah. And the last time I went to Kingston and they weighed me, I weighed 150 pounds. So that's good. Yes, it's really good. I, yes. I am really happy. <laughs> and your mother even more happy. Yes. 
All right. Sometimes when you don't see me distributing yes. certain items, I might not distribute it right away, but I will distribute it. I just don't get the time sometime. All right. Also, some of the times, um, the people who send the items, they want it to be donated to specific individuals. And sometimes I don't get to that particular person. So that's why you don't see it um, being donated right away. But I'm glad that I'm able to come and look back look for you again and I'm glad to see you better physically um, I'm sad I'm saddened about the passing of your grandmother I, and I saw that you were busy mission and Mr. Graham was in the hospital um, he's one of the person that you did on the program that I really look forward to his video because for, for some reason I can relate to what he's relating to, so... Yeah, because he... Yes, I watch his video and I'm really sorry for what he's going through. Yes. And I hope he gets help also. Yeah, man, he's, he's getting help, but they need a lot more help because in terms of having... They need a female figure that is there like 24 hours and... Especially the girl. Yes, especially Peter Gay. She need a lot of female. Well, I'm I'm trying my best, but I can't be there mm -hmm. all the time, so it's a bit hard. So, and that is one of the reasons why sometimes when you go there and like you tell them to do something, and you know, uh, like keep the bed, um, make up, make sure you make up the bed and stuff like that, and they will do it when you're there. But when you're gone, they're not doing it because they don't have somebody there constantly telling them to do it, and they're not used to it. But I think eventually over time they'll get used to it and you know but otherwise from that um, Mr. Graham is not doing too bad he got his medication and he's back home and I'm still visiting every weekend ensuring that Jordan gets his lunch and snack and and go to school every single day so that he can also benefit from the PAD program yeah so um all right that's it yes. nice seeing you guys and you know when i can come back i'll come back i'm not i'm not as mobile as before oh, yes. but I understand that. yes when i when i do get to come i will come yes. so again if anybody can help miss petra with traveling back and forth to the hospital you can reach out to her her number will be in the description of the video and pinned in the comment section and if you can't find it, you can always WhatsApp me and I will send it to you. Alright? Yes, so that's it. Thank, Thank you. you so much for watching yes. and yes. thanks for making it Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Until you. next time, walk good and look out for your neighbor. <laughs> Alright. <laughs>